Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, these few words are in response to a number of pastors in parishes who suggested uh, last summer when we celebrated the fortnight for freedom that I do a short video to explain why this is a question of religious freedom in the discussion on the health and human services mandate of the new health care bill because that uh, focus is often lost in the popular conversation in the media. Simply speaking, it's a question of religious freedom when the government tells us who we are, what is Catholic and what is not, and it has done that in the case of this mandate. So the church, of course, is composed of people who worship God in spirit and in truth in parishes and elsewhere, but because we worship God and love God, therefore we love our neighbor, and so the church is equally dedicated to the corporal works of mercy. Throughout the ages, we have institutionalized those corporal works of mercy in educational institutions, including universities, in um, medical centers and hospitals to take care of the sick, in the cemeteries where we bury the dead, in uh, social service organizations, especially Catholic Charities, which takes care of one out of every three people in the city of Chicago and extends its reach also to people who are hungry or in need, even in Lake County. The church is her ministries as well as her worship. And the government is telling us, no, you're not. You're just your worship. And so this is new in our constitutional history and in the history of the Universal Catholic Church. The HHS mandate is saying in order to be a religious institution, you have to, first of all, be concerned only with people who are of your faith. You must hire only people of your faith. You must be of service only to people of your faith. Your primary objective must be to foster that faith rather than just to help the poor and feed the hungry or instruct the ignorant. No, you have a very, very narrow definition of religion, and that's new because before that, the church would define her own ministries, put them into a big book called the Kennedy Directory because the bishop recognizes them as Catholic. They're Catholic in their purpose, but they serve everyone. And they were Catholic, accepted as such by the Internal Revenue Service, for example, for tax purposes. Now the government is saying, no, you don't tell us what is Catholic. We will tell you what is Catholic. Why are they doing that? They're doing that because they don't want our institutions to invoke their Catholic conscience, their institutional conscience, and refuse to perform immoral services or to pay for them. Because what you can't do, you shouldn't pay for. And so it's a question of trying in the insurance mandate to cover services that under previous federal law were always accepted. There were conscience clauses, the Hyde Amendment, the Church Amendment, the Weldon Amendment, all those amendments are out of this federal law for the first time. And we would like simply to say, why don't we practice our faith freely as we have for the last 200 years? Why must our institutions be taken from us? Catholic Charities isn't Catholic? That doesn't make any sense. Our hospitals aren't Catholic any longer. The great witness of Catholic hospitals is that in them, no one is ever deliberately killed, whether before birth or in old age. That is not something that can be said in most hospitals now in this country. There's a witness, because these are Catholic institutions, a witness of higher education. The University of Notre Dame has filed a suit against the government, along with many other Catholic institutions, precisely because they can't be themselves under the terms of this mandate. If the mandate it remains in effect, there will be heavy fines or we will have to withdraw from ensuring health care coverage. Uh, there are all kinds of complications, civil disobedience, who knows? We don't want to face that. We would like to have administrative redress. So far the administration has not responded to these complaints. We've tried legislative redress, now we're trying a redress in the courts. So we ask for your prayers that uh, without any more disturbance of our life or the life of our society, we might be able to remain free to be the Catholic Church, not only in worshiping God, but in serving God's people. I pray that this will happen. I thank you for your prayers, and be assured that you and those you love are in mine. Thank you.